Alright, so of the dads that are left, the ones that I am most interested in is actually Matt. Matt's really cool, you know, he's got, he seems really hip, he's, um, he's got, like, the whole poetry thing going on. I think he's a poetry guy, and he owns that, that, uh, coffee shop, which is pretty cool, and, you know, I like his look. I like his look. I kind of prefer guys with shorter hair. So his hair is a little bit longer for my personal taste. Um, but I mean, I can tell he's a good looking guy. Yeah, I can tell he's a good looking guy and he takes care of himself physically. Let's go message Matt. I like the way that he spells his name too. My husband in real life can't stand names that are spelled in, in, an, in an uncommon way. Like he would, he would have issues. I mean, yeah, he, he has issues with, like, Matt with a single T, Brian with a Y, and I love names like that. Kelly with an I at the end. I love names like that. Um, him not so much. I navigate to Dad's, to Dad's, Matt's Dad book page and type on a message. Hey, man, great getting to see you at the BBQ. We should definitely hang out, hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Everybody's so responsive except for Robert. Hey, dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come out? What's the Sound Garden? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. This guy is so artsy, I love it. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Bump is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. I log off dad book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtrack decades through the memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s progs rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of their airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door. Just getting home from school. Huh. Anyway, what's up? Hmm. Amanda, how do I be cool? Hmm. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. No, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Aww. Yeah, you have. You took me to the one once when I was 12, remember? Like, Sesame Street Live? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, okay. Oh, oh god, I chose to try so hard to forget. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot, and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Hmm. Dad, it was so much more than that. I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trap, tr kissing in your trapper keeper. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery side and cry a lot, and you'll fit right in. Well, it's a uh, at a smaller place, and I think Matt mentioned that they're a uh, punk. Band? Hmm. Like DIY gutter punk? Thrash? Straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Hmm. Are they post punk? Proto punk? C punk? Jeremy punk? Um. Steam punk? What's Jeremy punk? Yes. I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. <sighs> Clever. Huh. Clever little girl. Hmm? They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're. Canadian. Punk? Huh. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Huh? 
Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. Uh. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, just enjoy the music. That's it? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. <laughs> well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers you to buy your merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterwards where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Uh. Never mind, just have a blast tonight. I love these conversations. I show up to the coffee spoon at 8 in what I hope is concert appropriate attire and I see Matt out front locking the door to the shop. Hey, hey you made it. Ready for tonight? Well, it's been a while. Yes, of course, I definitely know. Yes, I definitely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. You better believe it, fellow live music lover. Grab those ticks and let's mosh that new. What? New, short for venue. See, I, I got it. You and I are on the same wavelength, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, Dad Hark. You know where you go see dope certs? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god! He's falling for it, Matt! Are you just making this stuff up right now? Uh, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Hmm. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream cries? Yeah. Hey. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. Uh -huh. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Hark, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is... scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Hey. Sorry, sorry, it's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into a middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. That's confusing. Uh -huh. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my mortality. When were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C-Punk actually a genre? Matt, you made it! What? A younger kid runs up and high-fives Matt. Hmm. The kid runs off, and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high-five me. Me too. Hey. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Hey, yeah. That's my favorite thing to do. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd, that Matt's in the crowd and, and yell, hey, as well. Hey, dude. Hey dude, Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Hey. Matt turns his attention back to me. Mm. I'm so afraid of all these people. Oh, let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back, where a couple of the older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Hey. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Oh. Ah, yes, I get a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. Hey. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Hey, yeah. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. What? Hmm. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Matt! Whoa, Matt! Whoa! Well. Where do I put my tongue? Hey! See? Well. I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. Hey. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> ha. Let's check out the merch. Oh, the merch. Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty-looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He signals me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. 
Step on up. Get your merch here. I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, and I got all the gifts that Nick Court recruitsman dis and discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want you. He sort of looks like, um, I don't know, this guy reminds me of the bed intruder guy. <laughs> I forgot his name, um, but that's kind of cool. I gestured to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you. You look like a fellow who knew, knows their music. How about a five, a fine 12 inch long playing vinyl record made of, made and distributed by Pup, Kanana's pre premier punk rock outfit? Uh, please stop yelling at me. Tally ho, good sir. Uh, please stop yelling at me. I'm already kind of on edge because this is an unfamiliar place and I don't know anybody here and I would appreciate it if you could stop singing, singling me out and I'm sure you're cool but it's making me a little uncomfortable. The kid immediately hops down off the chair. You got it. Sorry about that. I just really get excited about salesmanship. Whoa, the hearts are coming from over there. I can't relate but I appreciate your enthusiasm nonetheless. Hey, Pablo. Your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How are you, Matt? Hey. Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but also turn it into a hug. Hey. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I could make that connect. <laughs> and have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? Uh -huh. That's Hark. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Hark cool? Hmm. Matt eyes me. I eye him back. Mm. He cracks a smile. Oh. Yeah. Pablo brings in me in for a bro hug. My dude! I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats on the back as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to. Oh. Pablo's a total car. Kid plays, at, plays the heck out of a bass. Yeah, man, when are we starting our witch, hu witch house band? Hey. You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame, you know... Vacant Vale would have slayed. <laughs> I'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band t -shirt, band shirts. We got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Oh. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a, get, get a spot up close. Oh. Matt and I walk over the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and picks up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hmm. Hey, what's up everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Hmm. Oh no, these guys. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. It sounds like they're all giving birth on stage. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks! I put the earplugs in and whatever is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Maybe there it's a strategy to make the feature band sound that much better. Huh. Jesus, did Celis just break his bow in half? Did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? I'm gonna ask again. So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Ask again. So, you... Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. And that turns back his attention to the show. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. But they, they, must have <laughs> they must have had a ball recording this portion. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage, crying. Hmm. Matt and I both pulled our earplugs out. Hey. Man, that was something. I promise Puff is much better. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answers to. Hey. Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. 
Let's grab another beer. Matt and I work out our way to the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main axe. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot, but there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the, th the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if the terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Oh. Almost lost you, buddy. Phew! I got really nervous for a second there. Hey. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Oh. Yeah, pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Hey. Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with, but when you're in a room full of people connected with the music just the same way you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. <laughs> Curse this tiny daddy bladder. I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Oh. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeeze my out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single-person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. <sighs> the people that were initially milling around the venue all, around, all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? Is that over? Oh! Everyone's, everybody's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be there too. I gotta find him before I get trampled by these, all these rowdy youths. Find that dad! Oh my. This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. We worked really hard to lock it down for you. <laughs> this is hilarious. We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> but their systems are seriously broken. Ah, what a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my heart. My heart. So we I should have grabbed the heart. The song that you're listening to right now. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? <laughs> to you streamers and let's players, I have one decree. Uh -huh. Please check out the band called Pop and their song DV. Okay, I will do that, Pop. This is so clever. I love this so much. <laughs> That's right, the band's called Pop and their song uh, called DV. Oh, I missed that heart. The song is great and the video is tight. Yes, take it from me. <laughs> it's like footage of NES and SNES games with the lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now. But you'll get it, I promise. You should really go check it out. You try. It's a really good video. Oh, I almost made it. So we added the song that you're listening to right now. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? <laughs> to you streamers and let's players, I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pup and their song DVP. DVP. I'm gonna have to put a link to this to Pup. But really, content ID demands a serious convo. But is this the time or place to talk about it? Oh no. This is a dating sim about getting with dads, no less. <laughs> oh god, how did we get here? What are we doing? What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. I love this so much. So we added the song that you're listening to right now. Don't 
you think it's better than risking content ID? To you streamers and let's players, I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pop and their song DVP. I love this so much. This is amazing. DVP. This is so good. So we added the song that you're listening to right now. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? To the streamers and let's players, I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pop and their song DVP. DVP. DVP DVP Ah <laughs> oh. oh my gosh that was beautiful that was amazing hats off to the developers and for pup for writing that that was amazing after searching and searching I don't even know how to even continue after that. After searching and searching, I realized it's impossible. I'll never be able to find Matt in this area of subculture. I guess I'll just camp out here. I watch Puff set by my lonesome out next to a bunch of hip 20-somethings. I can tell they're judging my clothes, and I want so badly to grab them by the shoulders and explain the usefulness of my utility pockets, but I try to focus on the concert. Man, I wish Matt were here. The show finally ends and I wait for Matt outside. After a minute or two, Matt spots me. Hey. Dude, you sure are a sight for sore eyes. Sorry, I lost you back there. Uh -huh. It's all good. Wasn't it a great show? Totally. Would have been more fun with you, though. Hey. Well, next time I guess we'll have to hold hands the whole time so we don't lose each other, huh? I laugh. Am I blushing? Oh. You hungry? Starving. Hey. Follow me. Oh, good. Now we can actually, like, have a conversation. Matt and I walk into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Hey! So there I am, in the pit, trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering towards me and there's nowhere to go. Hey. It's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms, and just like that I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should have seen the look on his face. Oh, wow, that's pretty smooth. That's pretty cool. Why are you so cool, Matt? Bought him a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. Hmm. Yeah, man, just goes to show you that Punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. So how did you get to see all of these amazing concerts? Hey. Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Hey. But yeah, that's how I, I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Oh. Thanks. A single parent just really have to look out for each other. How's Carmen Carmencita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh, boy. Hey. It'll be loud and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Hmm. I'm trying to be supportive of Carmen Sita's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Oh. Like what? Fashion... Consumerism, big budget remakes of foreign films. 
big budget remakes of foreign films. Reading subtitles is that isn't that even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Oh. Man. Hey. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. Hey. Yeah. It's just... I don't know. Hmm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too. I've never really considered myself an extrovert and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. Oh. Ah, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter, sto daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Hey. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> ha, you and me both. Mm. I uh, don't usually like going up to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hey, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm calling you quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool. I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pops, how was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. Mm -hmm. You don't say. Manda Panda. Matt, Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> blind leading the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked by my own child. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. That was an enjoyable date. I enjoyed that with Matt. That was super fun. Tiny bladder, baking grunge, cool poker buddy food channel. Yeah, oh. even Pitchfork would like that. What? Pitchfork? Is that the name of a band? King Welcome. of Carrot Flowers? You've got dads. Okay. 